Hello, I'm Dr. Herman again with another great bit of information to share with you about another patient who's been now under my care for a couple of months. You've seen a video of him before where he, uh, an old, older gentleman uh, who had a difficulty with breathing and they had only given him six months to live. And on our exam today, which is uh, May 12th, 2015, I want to report to you more of his findings as we uncover layers and layers of toxins and infections in multiple tissues. Something that you've got to understand when you want to create, uh, beat chronic disease is you've got to get to the infections and the toxins wherever they're hiding, okay? So it's not one blast you can do for the whole body. So here we go. What we found in this gentleman today was in his, and he's got a diagnosis of, of abnormal tissue growths, whether you want to call it a tumor, you call it, he had polyps removed in the past. There still are findings on colon exams. And what I found in his rectum mucosa today is two, the first two connections to the rectal disease comes from his mouth. Yes, you can have infection in the tooth, infection in the gums, infection in the jawbone that can go right through the blood vessels and end up on your heart, on a heart valve, it can end up in the liver, it can end up in the kidney, it can end up, in this case, in the rectum and cause disease there. So we found a connection from an occlusion, which means that a tooth was removed or fell out years ago, which he did have some trauma to the whole mouth and has dentures for uh, a couple of decades at least already, maybe three decades at least, well, we found infection in the mouth connected to the rectum mucosa. We also found, and remedies are being made up to that to help to relieve the stress from the teeth in the area of the rectum. We also found the Borrelia burgdorferi Lyme bacteria in his rectum mucosa. We found multiple forms of mold and fungus in the rectum. We found uh, x-ray radiation uh, stress in that rectum mucosa. We found Bartonella hensile, which is a co-infection with a Lyme bug, with a Borrelia bug. We found multiple mycoplasma bacteria in his rectum as well. We found Candida glabrata, which is one of the types of Candida that I have in my practice here for examination and diagnosis and to help create a remedy to remove these uh, uh, Candidas from the tissue, the specific Candida in the specific tissue. We found hookworm there. We found residues of antibiotics. We found histoplasmosis. This is a fungus in the rectum mucosa. We found multiple forms of iatrogenic chemicals in the rectum. We found E. coli. You've heard of E. coli, maybe from a hamburger, maybe from a steak. The E. coli has been in his rectum mucosa causing disease, causing irritation of tissues, leading to abnormal tissue growth. Influenza virus we found down there, influenza A virus we found down there, other multiple forms of viruses were found down there like cytomegalovirus and Coxsackie virus and Epstein-Barr virus. There's a few others on the list here. We also found ringworm in his rectum mucosa. Ringworm is gonna make, have you ever seen that on the skin? Well now just imagine that's in the rectum and that's gonna cause irritation, more abnormal tissue growth, all of these findings that we've gone over, and so far we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 findings in the rectum causing abnormal tissue growth. Dental plastics, he's had, uh, 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 what do you call it, dentures for quite some time, and the plastics from the dentures can actually drip out and cause problems in the body. Just because a laboratory makes a dental um, denture or an implant, don't believe that it's automatically safe for you because what you don't know is if the dentist is not aware, you may not be aware that the dentist who you're paying, who you trust in to do your dental work, may not be aware that some of these materials that laboratories use can be toxic and cause disease in your tissues. And there's a ton of evidence about that. And Listen, if a plastic bottled water can have plastics that get into your tissues, so can the plastic from the, from the uh, denture. He also had another infection called Babesia microti, which is another type of bacteria that commonly goes with the Lyme infection. All of those infections, we made specific individual remedies that are gonna help his body remove those 
uh, those infections and toxins. According to the law of similars within homeopathy understandings, when you have the like, the like bacteria and you use that energy to match that like bacteria or parasite or plastic or whatever it is, it's going to remove it from the tissue and allow the tissue to function and heal. Now, in, in an understanding of Chinese medicine for over 5,000 years, 5,000 years, American medicine has been around for a little more than 100 years, 5,000 years of Chinese medicine history, one thing that they've said is that the lungs are the second intestines. So if the lungs have some kind of problem, that can cause a problem in the intestines. If the intestines have a problem, that can cause a problem up in the lungs. And further, what we're, what we're hearing about in the literature, about neuroscience literature for the past couple of decades is that when there's a problem in the intestines, when the gut is inflamed, the brain is inflamed. When the brain is inflamed, the body can't function appropriately. Now, and this man has improved dramatically since we first started, but there's more that we're dealing with here. And we found today in his trachea, not in the lungs, not in the bronchi, not in the alveoli, but in the trachea, tobacco smoke. Yes, he used to be a tobacco smoker. We found influenza toxins, ringworm, and two different kinds of molds in his trachea. In order for him to be able to breathe better, can you agree that getting rid of the toxins and the infections in his windpipe, if you want to call it that, the airway, the trachea, wouldn't it be a lot easier for you and him or anybody to breathe without chronic infection in there? Okay, and we're gonna, we've already sent him home with remedies to target those. There are a few others that were brought up in this, in this uh, evaluation today. I might touch on those later. I don't want to overwhelm you too much or even throw possibly a state of confusion there because there were certain things that were found in the brain that we created remedies for to help strengthen the brain function. Uh, but this man is dramatically, dramatically uh, amazing improvements. I'm going to show with this video, I'll be showing links below this on my YouTube page in the description. You'll have links to other discussions, his testimonial after his first or second visit, and other descriptions. You'll see those links there, okay? So scroll down, look at those on the YouTube page, click on those and watch that information. This work is real. This is healthcare that really works because when you can find what is causing the disease and effectively, elegantly eliminate the cause of that disease, the body's gonna be able to repair itself. Yes, it's not all about the antibiotics. It's not all about, for this case, he couldn't even, uh, even, even function okay when he came in even with his oxygen tank that they were told he had to use so many hours out of the day. The man has made dramatic improvements and we expect to continue to see even more improvements. Every single time I see him, he's getting better and better and better. And for anybody out here who's listening, anybody out there, I'm talking to you. If you're listening to this and you think you can, you can fix your chronic illness in one visit or two, it's just, it's rare if ever that's gonna happen. It might happen, but you've gotta be willing to put in the time to do the effort to, 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 to help you get yourself, get your life and your health back. And that can be done, and I'm here to help you do it for yourself. It is healthcare that really works. On my YouTube page, scroll over right here from this video, click on the subscribe link. I put up videos all the time, and you'll get an email every time uh, that we get a, a new video uploaded on YouTube. Uh, you can also come over and see my, my Facebook page, and there's I put blog type information up uh, just about every day there. Okay, thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to helping you, and please share this video with just one friend, just one friend, and help somebody else out there. Thank you.